It's week one of the NFL, and if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Blues and the Shamrocks, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us across the Atlantic and along the River Liffey in the wonderful city of Dublin, Ireland. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Blues of Melbourne and the Dublin Shamrocks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft New season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out, the former Tar Heel, second-year pro, Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records, and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. Gets through, and now an opening. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Second and six at the 43-yard line. Back to throw, Howell. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Brian Robinson out of the backfield. And now it's third down. And six yards to go. Howell looking to throw again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by the fifth-year dual threat and former number one pick in 2019, Kyler Murray. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season is dream. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. They need 12 here. It's third down. Here's Murray. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. One heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. Oh, it's got to feel good to hit on one of these in the first quarter of a brand new season. They're hoping this duo can really make some noise this year. And this is a great start. A big play here early in the ball game. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Murray going to throw. He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 33 yards that time. First 
from the red zone. Here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. He will push his way down to about the 14. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. Prater's kick is good, and they'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Powering his way forward. Fights through and now a crease. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That good for 19 of the first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So you look at the NFL in Europe. We've, of course, had games in London, in Germany, Mexico. But now Ireland gets into the act. A new franchise based right here outside Dublin. And these folks could not be more excited to have a relocated team on the Emerald Isle. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First and how will throw it. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards, the final tally. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second and ten at the 13-yard line. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Howell out of the shotgun. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jamison Crowder. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Shamrocks have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold it in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. The extra point by Sly is up and good. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Murray now on first down. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Now a second and ten. Murray now to throw. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. On first and 10 is Connor. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It was Jerome Payne who got in there to make the play. This size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now Murray throwing on second down. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. For this defense, CD, and going up against Kyler Murray here, what's the secret to keeping him in check? <laughs> Having better athletes than him, which is really unrealistic. So I go way really back in football. They used to have a coverage called the umbrella coverage with four defenders back deep. Now you want to try and move that umbrella in front with Kyler Murray. Kind of surround him and keep him hemmed into the pocket. Because if he breaks out, he's going to hurt your defense in a big way with his legs. Crater's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. He might be being set up here for a busy ball game already. Two kicks here in the first quarter, and he's knocked both through the post. And for now, you know they'll be happy getting those three points. But what they really want is to find a way for him to kill extra points instead of field goals. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want. Breaks the tackle, now Allen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now how? And his throw is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. And once more, how back to the air. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now here comes Dorch on the return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Murray now on first down. 
And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, here's Murray. Wilson's got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. This is taken in by McBride. And touchdown! Trey McBride. 52 yards, and the Blues are once again back in front. So many times you think of these tight ends catching the ball already in the end zone, but today's tight end, they can run after the catch, too, to score. They are big, they're strong, but they're extremely athletic, and they can surprise the heck out of you when they get the ball in their hands and they're running away from the defense. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Robinson with another carry. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Oh, this one, it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. From the 46, here's second down and two. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Powell trying to pick it up on third. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Second and five. Al now to throw it. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. 
A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And room there to work it inside the 25. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Here's Hal to throw on second down. That's into the hands of his tight end, Bates. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. That's good. Run Dublin. First down. First and ten at the 18 yard Throwing line. here, Hal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And it's second down. It leads to second and ten. Back to the ground with Robinson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Terry McLaurin from 17 yards out. And the Shamrocks are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Now Murray, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And on Melbourne, first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down, Blues. Connor up the middle. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. brought down at the 42-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Cody Barton there to bring him down from the 34-yard line. Here's second down and five. To throw is Murray. 
He'll get this to Connor underneath. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. On first and ten, it's Carter. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Fans, a reminder, coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando for highlights and analysis and scores from around the NFL. Touchdown! Marquise Brown, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Blues have yet again retaken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control, and how about the end result? A touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and that'll make this a six-point game. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Dublin's offense now set to take over. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this. But if you're Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. After the turnover, here's Murray. His throw incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenges. This series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. They'll set up the screen to Carter. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a first down on a gain of ten. Murray now. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now second and five. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Murray going to throw. And that is incomplete. The way he's been slinging it in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now Murray. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Throwing now is Murray. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the 
a sack back at the 16-yard line. He'll wind up losing 10 there, a full 10 yards, so that one hurts. And it brings up third and goal. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Back at the 16 now after the sack. Here's third and goal. To throw, it's Murray. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Prater's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. these offenses had their share of high points in that first half each team had some big moments and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half taken at the goal line and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Brings up second and seven. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's Murray. And that is incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Here's Hal. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. 
He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet. Well, the defense, they get to Howell. He'll go down here. Zabin Collins in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Yeah. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll toss this out right for Connor. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Here's Murray. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and three at the 37 yard line. Murray now to throw. Goes right back to McBride. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Here's second and ten. Murray to air it out again. He'll dump this one off to Connor. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more bounce when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line. Pressure comes and down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 24-yard line. Back to throw. Howell. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Oh, 
Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Kaiser White. You know he can fly to the ball, and he showed it there. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Powell. He's got his target, that's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And McLaurin, the motion man right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Brings up second and ten at the 35-yard line. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that one will skip out of bounds as the linesman will mark this thing right at the 15-yard line. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Oh, well, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamin Davis. And they have the football, and will take over at the 24-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Powell. Yeah, this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Robinson up the middle. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle on each and every snap. Loves to get after the quarterback, and that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. 
So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And he missed it. It's no good. And that will keep this a 12-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to the Emerald Isle. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Looking to throw, Murray. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. As soon as he leaked down and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now how? Shoves him aside. Middle of the field. He's got McLaurin. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And this offense on third down today, they're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and four. And Howe will throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. On the counter, this is Robinson. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. At the 29-yard line. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On the give, here's Robinson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here's a second and five. Al now to throw it. That's into the hands of his tight end Bates. But he's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. 
Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Hal to the air on first and ten. Dancing to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Zabin Collins in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Hal, he'll look to throw it. And this is incomplete. A well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. That is caught. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Little bootleg here, Howell. Yeah, he's got it. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. A gain of three brings up second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Robinson. Looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Robinson again, but he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three direction I know they're going through all the possibilities right now but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do them a ton of good it'd still be a two-score game so to me go for it go for it boldly fourth down Hal desperation time and it's caught touchdown Cole Turner from three yards out and the Shamrocks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. Greg Dorch returning. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This, to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Right back to Connor here on first. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last second, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to letting it slip away. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. But now he appears to be in some pain. Well, now they're gonna come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And he'll manage 
looks to pick up about four. It's second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll run with Carter. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Another toe for Carter. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. So it's our visitors with the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Take it down to the 30-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Prater's kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The situation for them offensively as follows. Down by eight, a little under a minute 50 remaining. They need a touchdown and, of course, the two-point conversion as well. Now Hal. And that one to the right side and incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Powell to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll run again, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. This was boxing. You think maybe they would have thought about stopping this one because this defense has been bruised, it's been battered, but this is why they keep the fight going, right? They just got done with a really nice play, showing they still got a little bit left, don't they? Haven't had many plays that they can clip, put in the film room and smile about, but hey, there's one. Clip and save. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet, 
it can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's first and 10. Here's Howell. Can't get away, and he's taken down. They'll come up now on second down. It's a loss of eight. Brings up Here's Hal. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Hal with one final shot. Escaping the pressure right and out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for Melbourne, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Dubliners, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.